But you tell me where you at? Your motivation guy. That's right, guys. I am back, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you better at Fortnite. With Fortnite being a game that highly revolves around your ability to build and edit, okay, you're gonna be need to be using the most efficient and up-to-date techniques in order to find success. Luckily for you, in today's video, we're gonna be coming at you with 10 game-changing building and editing techniques. You guys ready for this? Well, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is it, y'all? Come on, it's that bunch of crunch. Come on now, and let's get this going. All right, so the first technique on our list is definitely pretty challenging, but does an insane job at peace controlling your opponent when done at the right time. In Fortnite, the typical player is usually only worried about getting peace controlled when reboxing to the side. This is the most common play, and reboxing downwards seems to be foolproof. What these players don't even realize is that we're already one step ahead of them. All right, so this technique is going to fully peace control the box below the opponent, oftentimes leading to a free elimination. All right, so this move only works when the opponent feels pressured into reboxing. All right, just start by placing a cone below your feet, phasing a ramp in their box without breaking the wall. Next, edit the two front cone tiles to drop yourself down. Place a wall and floor as you fall and open a middle window edit. All that's left now is to box the entire tile in front of you. If done correctly, your opponent will edit downwards only to fall right into your box, giving you an easy kill. All right, like I said before, guys, this move is very difficult to pull off, but it can be absolute gold when implemented correctly. Practice the sequence in creative until you're ready to test your luck with it in game. All right, so if you thought the last technique was difficult, don't worry. This next one is super simple, yet effective, meaning really anybody can do it. You know, ever since the World Cup era back in chapter one, players have been phasing in boxes using only a ramp behind their back. This play is still prevalent today and can be used to trick an opponent into giving up their wall. As you approach the opponent's box, place a ramp in front of a wall to make it seem like you're just gonna try to phase in. Position yourself under the ramp and get the wall to one hit. Instead of just jumping in, guys, simply stay where you are and replace the the wall with your own and just make an edit play. Since the typical ramp phase trick is so common, many players will hold their weapon out waiting for you to enter the box. Since you're not actually phase again, you can just stand back and wall replace them for free. You know, no matter what skill level you're on, man, you've definitely had those situations where an opponent is fully in your box and below your ramp. Even though you have control over every edit, I mean, it usually ends up being a 50-50 situation regardless, right? Although there's a few plays that could give you guys an advantage here, the technique we're gonna show you is definitely the best. Instead of just making a ramp edit and then shooting your opponent, make a corner edit on the left side of your box. As you exit, enter edit mode on the ramp and cut it in half. This is gonna give you a perfect peanut butter angle shot on your opponent to avoid you taking any trade damage. You know, although the technique isn't too mechanically advanced, it can be difficult to get the crosshair placement for the ramp edit down. Practice this in creative to just really work on your positioning and edit timing. All right, guys, so the next technique may seem straightforward, but it's still wildly unused outside of the top competitive players. You know, when you make a regular pre-edit, every piece you place is gonna have the same edit on it. In team modes, this can be used to make quick wall replaces to catch opposing teams off guard. Have the lowest pink player in your team make a wide open wall pre-edit. Approach an enemy's box and destroy the build while the pre-edit player is turbo building. All right, so once the wall is replaced, there's gonna be a clear opening for your team to enter and just outgun them. The opposing team will really have no chance to react and are only gonna have to hope they can just out-aim or find safety. All right, so this play should really only be performed in the end game where there's tons of commotion going on. Opposing teams oftentimes won't even hear this being done to them if you act quick enough. All right, guys, here we go. The next technique on our list is one of the most simple ways to retake height and go for peace control. The high wall 180 is one of the easiest yet most effective high wall variations as well. This move can be done at really any time and will often end fights in the matter of seconds. All right, so start this move off by just scissor ramping or just triple editing continuously away from your opponent. As soon as your bottom ramp sticks out further than your top, turbo build two walls as you jump 180 degrees around. Immediately after landing, jump and place a ramp below yourself to land on. In this, by just making a play on the opponent behind your high wall with a window edit full box or something similar, all right? This move is great as it really doesn't require many materials and it can be performed over and over again. Just make sure that you're only doing this when the opponent is directly behind you or else you could be shot at pretty easily. All right, Bunch of Gretzami, it's time for the question of the day. Here we go. What is your favorite edit to make when box fighting? Let us know down in the comments below. Are right, replacing a wall with your own and editing onto an opponent is simple, yet the core of box fighting. You know, most players are gonna approach this with a mongrel classic or a wide open edit cone play. While these do work, guys, like they're not the most optimal strategies, right? Simply making a middle window edit and placing a cone is actually gonna be the quickest and most protective method. When positioning yourself correctly, all right, the middle window cone play is gonna give you a perfect right hand peek to deal some devastating damage. After taking your initial shot, I mean, you can reset and make the same edit over and over again 
in as you'll pretty much be protected. This move is especially great for you controller players out there as it requires very little joystick movement, giving you an easy shot to line up when completed. Let me ask you this. Do you guys want to learn additional techniques that's going to bring you to the next level? Make sure you head on over to ProGuys.com where we've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything that you need to know about Fortnite so you can improve fast. All right, so if you've been playing Fortnite for some time now, you're more than likely able to do some basic side jumps. These are great, but it can be predicted by your opponent, causing you to get peace control. So to switch things up like every once in a while, just make a sharp change in direction backwards into another tile after you land. Direction changing side jumps is gonna require some solid movement and muscle memory, but are definitely worth learning. This move started in creative, but it can definitely be implemented in an actual game as well. Just like the direction changing side jumps, this technique uses a side jump to catch your opponent off guard. This move will take advantage of the mantle mechanic to keep your momentum from stalling. This move starts just like a side jump, except that your ramp is gonna face the opposite direction it normally would. Start this move by just running into a left hand side jump and as you jump, turn around 180 degrees and catch yourself with the ramp. Immediately place a cone and mantle up. This move looks extremely confusing from the opponent's point of view and it can be a great way to get some surprise damage dealt. And so after you get the initial technique down, try practicing some variations of the move in different directions with different sequences. All right, guys, for the next two techniques, we want to step away from building and talk about edit selection. Okay, so the top six tiles, edit is a great way to prevent your wall from being shot and replaced as around 90% of the wall will disappear. This edit selection is going to be more challenging for you controller players out there, but it could definitely be done with some practice. Before you go for the edit, make sure that there's a cone at your feet. You're going to use this for protection later on. Start by selecting the middle left tile. Drag your crosshair to the right and select that whole middle row. Next, move up to the top row and select that row as well. Before confirming the edit, move backwards behind your cone and crouch down. This is going to provide a much safer angle for you guys to take your shot. Okay, so for the last technique of today's video, we're gonna be covering another edit. This one is similar to the top six tile edit as it can be difficult to pull off at first, but it's definitely worth learning. This edit will provide a small block for you to hide behind before taking your shot. Okay, so we suggest that you start by selecting the middle window tile. Next, use a counterclockwise motion to grab the bottom right row as well as the upper right corner. Finish by selecting the top left corner and confirm the edit. All right guys, so make sure that you position yourself behind the remaining tiles when making this play, or you can be shot pretty easily. This edit is great, but using it too often against an opponent could get you predicted pretty easily. But Chris, tell me where you at your motivation, guys. Back, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did, connect with my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Man, we got so much great content coming out. I wanna say this again, I believe in you. I really, really do, man. So whatever you're facing, keep your head up, stay positive. Make sure you continually smile through every situation because no matter what, you're just gonna come out on top. You're gonna get stronger, you're gonna grow more through it. So just keep going. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.